behold the new views of Stratford, the Queen's Olympic Park. This is it. Ashiri. Can you beat that? Isn't it? You come down here in the evening time, have a little walk of the park, see the sun coming up, you know, the sun setting, so beautiful scene. Look at that. The East London transforming really, really fast in age. Look. It's a legacy being built. Legacy is built. Up. This is it, anniversary of London 2012. The legacy, what is promised, is after the Olympic stage in London 2012. This is the legacy. It brought development, regeneration, transformation of and extreme and dedicated determination to rebuild and to make London more spectacular make London one of the best places to live Memories are indeed made. I remember just 10 years ago, I happened to be one of the team members of the local organizing committee, the local Mile End Team. We call it Mile End Team. I was here at the then Queen Elizabeth Park, Olympic Park, and right now, it's about 10 years ago, 2012. Now, 2022. See what has happened in this London. Records are broken and the eastern part of London has been regenerated and is gaining a whole lot of from the legacy after hosting the Olympic in 2012. One, two, three, go! We are getting there. Ten years memories are made. Here we come. Okay, honey, I'm in for two. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm in for two. I've got Kasu Baba there taking the picture of me while I'm standing here at the foot uh, signal here. He said, one, two, three, here we go. The memories I made 10 years ago, London 2012. The largest Great Britain Paralympic team in history. We will never forget that. And the Olympic Stadium now transformed into West Ham, into the home stadium of West Ham United now. An amazing 185 medals for Grace Beatty will be celebrated this year, 2022, just 10 years ago when the London Olympic was staged. Olympic and Paralympics. See some of the changes that are taking place. I show you what. Lots of lofty buildings, modern apartments, skyrocketing, mind blowing developments. Not just in the East London Stratford only, but spreading all across and many parts of London. Businesses sprung all over the place and more are still rising. It is the transformation, it is the legacy of the London 2012. The memories are much more intact, but what we see more are the developments, the tracks, the restaurants, food joints. Leisure centers, leisure fronts, yes, so many.
I like that. That's what's happening. And more. It's being built. Yes. More buildings being built all over. Imagine what has happened in the last 10 years since the London 2012 was staged at Stratford Olympic and some other venues like Excel Center, Greenwich and some other places across London during the Olympic. Momentum, the shard, a whole lot of other things. Bespoke joints, restaurants, Shopping center, the great shopping mall of the West Fee, the biggest in Europe, the biggest shopping mall. Catchy fountains, it all has to the beauty of this very place, the East London, London Olympic. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's barely 10 years ago the Olympic was held in the East London. This is the Queen's Elizabeth Park, named after hosting the Olympics. Now, the memories are still much intact. Remember that the whole flocks of people around the world come down to London. And now, the transformation, as you can see, is mind blowing. Just 10 years ago. The changes you can see about the same London, old London, and the new London. Thank you. <laughs> Let's continue to take a walk of the Queen's Olympic Park, get it closer to the shopping mall of Westfield. It's a great atmosphere here in East London. You recall the Olympic City. 